Hey, talking shitheads, it's Eddie, and uh, I just want to let you know that before we start the show with uh, our guest, the amazingly talented Liza Schlesinger, we, we have no advertising, zero. Nobody fucking wants to advertise. If you want to advertise, uh, send us an email, Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. We get emails all the time, people going, yeah, I want to advertise. Then Monty, our sales girl, calls you, and you go, uh, don't want to do it anymore. Don't know why, but if you want to, just fucking do it. Also... <laughs> If you're a fan and you really like the show, we seriously contemplate quitting the show all the time because it costs money to do this, and we can't do it without you guys. So when you donate, we really do appreciate it. Uh, so go to our page. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of new stuff we're giving away, posters, T-shirts, DVDs, CDs, DVDs, CDs, DVDs, CDs, whatever. Just go there, donate. There's packages. Uh, we got a guy coming to the show, a $1,000 donor. And he wants to donate in $100 plugs like every week. He's like, if I donate 10 times, I'm like, hey, just give us $1,000 and we'll let you come. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, go to our website, Jim and Uh Jim's going to be March 23rd at the Borgata in Atlantic City. March 30th to April 1st, he's going to be at the Pittsburgh Improv, which is uh, a great club. It's my home club where I started in Pittsburgh. April 6th, Canyon Club, Gora Hills. April 7th, we are both going to be at the April Foolishness, the Gibson Amphitheater. That is with uh, Eddie Izzard and Bob Saget and uh, who else is on? Felipe Esperanza and uh, Jay Moore, Larry King. And you can get your tickets at, nope, sold out. Uh, I'm going to be March 22nd to 24th in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Guess what? Not sold out. Uh, March 30th. <laughs> I'm at San Francisco at Bimbo's 360 room with Owen Benjamin and Hal Sparks and Natasha Legero, and it's sold out. April 6th, Burbank, Flappers, go there. Uh, April 7th, April Foolishness, and then the week after that, I think I'm in Las Vegas. I think. So go to my website, edif.com. Uh, our guest, before you even hear her, I'm going to let her give her dates, even though you're going to want to go more after you hear her on the show. But Eliza, do you have anything you want to plug? I'm going to be at the La Jolla Comedy Store this weekend, and then I'll be somewhere in Pennsylvania. Oh, and I'll be at Foxwoods Casino. That's not in Pennsylvania. It's in Connecticut. It's the same thing. Yeah. And uh, every, everything else got canceled because I'm shooting my show, but I'll also be at the Tempe Improv coming up. All my dates are on Eliza.com. Eliza.com, you got that one. Yeah, no one else spells her name in an annoying way like I do. Wow. And uh, all my other dates that people were coming to were all canceled because of the projects I have, so... There goes, there goes my paycheck. Uh, so let's just start the show. Jason, before we do, do you have anything to plug? I don't no, know. No, start the show. Two douchebags on a couch. One's an asshole, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh! Hi, everybody. Welcome to Talking Shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift. Today we have no Jim Jeffries. Why not? Uh, maybe Matt Devlin killed him. Why else? Because he's grumpy. Why else? Because he's on a plane. Are you worried that the show's going to fall apart without Jim? Not anymore. Why? Because it seems like everything's good. No, that's not what I heard. I heard from a good source that you and Lilith believe that if Jim's sitcom gets picked up and Jim leaves the podcast that it'll fall apart and it'll suck. Well, why would he leave the podcast? But let's just, why, why would you say that? I didn't say that. I heard it from a good source, one of your close friends. Someone told me that he, he would leave the podcast when his show got picked up. That I would leave? No, that he would leave. Well, what, what would happen if Jim left? Well, you told me that you think he's going to leave when, he, when his show gets picked no, what up. What do you think would happen if Jim leaves? I don't know. What do you think, really? It'd be turmoil and chaos. But Maybe. Jason, aren't you the reason everybody listens to this show? No. I'm just the talent. Oh. All right. I'm not the reason. <clears throat> so it's another episode without Jim. If you listen to the last episode, we survived without him. Unless that's him. Unless that's him. Um, Jim, uh, no, that's a lot of our fans listen to Jim. That's a customer. Really? <laughs> yeah. For you? No. For next door? Yeah. Oh, the Coke dealer? Yeah. Oh, there's a cocaine dealer next door to us. Everyone's got one. Yeah, and, and all through the day, we see people like Honk. He comes out. He says hi to them. Then he goes back inside. Why don't you make another enemy in the neighborhood, Jason? <laughs> you say tell his, him to stop honking. Say his name. Eddie Ift. No, say his name. Eddie Ift. Say his name. Eddie Ift. Say his name. Eddie Ift. 
All right. Why don't you talk to our guest and interviewer? Do, do an hour power right away. No, don't look at this. Don't look at that. He's got her bio sheet that Farzad wrote. Now go ahead and interview her. Uh, hi, everybody. This is Jason Hour. Um, do, here with uh, no, Eliza do your Schlesinger. Do your fucking show. And welcome to the Hour of Power. All right. It's my intro. I can do it the way I want. You want to change it? I, 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 you know, yeah. Can I change it? I just did it. That was terrible. <laughs> it was a... Jason, it's in, a one-off, in between you know? the taping of the last show and this show, Jason went outside with Devlin and smoked pot, and now he can't speak. Go ahead. Hi, Eliza. How are you Hi, doing? I'm good. All right. So, what's, okay. what's her Let's name? Have it. What's her name? Eliza Schlesinger. <laughs> Schlesinger. Is that, is that right? No, that's fine. No. Can you say it for me so I have it? <laughs> no, he said it right earlier. Yeah, but I wasn't listening to no, him. No, that's okay. You got the Eliza part right. <laughs> we don't need to repeat the most unsexy last name ever created. All right. That's not true. It's pretty For bad. For taco is. Oh, yeah. Face fuck's pretty bad. I don't know. For tato. For tato. Well, but it's I Portuguese get, or whatever. My last name is like the time though. Like, you know, like, oh, what time is it? I don't know, I don't know How many minutes in an hour? <laughs> Your last name is Hour? Hour, yeah. Oh. That's why they call it the Hour of Power. Because if we, we told him when he's with a girl, he should say, are you ready for an hour of power? What girl's going to be like, yeah, a whole hour. Let's have sex for a whole hour. That's not going to get raw. <laughs> I, right? I don't. He, he, girls always want, like, let's go. No one wants to go that long. He weirdly can go for a really long time. I'd like to see the footage or it didn't happen. He fucked a girl all night long, couldn't uh, come. So he went. Well, that's all, different. Oh. Yeah, he couldn't come. And then, why couldn't you come, Jason? Well, and that night, I thought it was because I had to go to the bathroom. I, like, I was, I was like, yeah. too embarrassed to go there. So I just, you just held, held it, it and didn't get off and looked weird. Yeah. For an hour. You, you don't Excellent shit and decision. come at the same time. What's yeah, that? You don't, don't shit and come at the same time. <laughs> I know, but I, I think there's just, maybe I was just tense. Eliza, are you, are you single? Uh, I'm not. Oh, because I was going to say Jason is. Yeah. Well, you know what? Dodge that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> barely. Yes, barely. It skimmed the top of my head. Do you feel his aura or hour? That's, you notice I'm sitting closer to you. Like, just like, <laughs> She's leaning away from him. <laughs> you, do, you do give off a creepiness. <laughs> let's asked, see. Let's see. The first thing out of your mouth was a story about how you couldn't come because you had to take a crap so bad because you was, were fucking her for an hour. It was coached out of me by my friend. Coaxed out of you? Coached. Oh, you had someone in the bedroom with you besides no, him. Her. I don't get in the bedroom with you. Coaching means that he's there. No, he coached the story out of me just now. Coaxed. No, he coached. All right. He's like my coach. You know, like That's Rocky. Get lousy it's just, bum. It's just the same. Shame he's I'm like not the, single. He, you can coax, but he coaches too. Yeah. He coached me through CrossFit. You did it once. I did it for two months. No, you didn't do it for two months, Jason. You were there four times. Yeah, but I did it out here. This is your delusionary world. No, I did. I went down to the sand pit by the weight pen. He's gonna. Will you go on his new news show? He's gonna have a show. He's gonna have a crackhead do the news. Didn't you say that? Well, I was. Yeah, I was gonna do. I was gonna have like one of the uh, correspondents be like like. Crackhead. Oh, totally. Yeah. And it's going to be a. No, they love the news. They have a passion for hard hitting. No, wouldn't you want to know what's going on down at the beach from a crackhead's perspective? No. And it's going to be a two. No, ca- why two, would you? Two camera I shoot. don't even talk to homeless people. That's you're too talking. Bad. To, you're talking to one right now. Are you one of them? <laughs> no, Jason. I'm not unhoused. Jason, I well, got a. I got a place. Were you coached out of your house? <laughs> no, <it was> thrown. <laughs> thrown. <laughs> excuse me. Can you grip the microphone harder, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Jason is sort of homeless. No, this is great. He doesn't own or rent. I home. stay with a guy who's got MS right now. <laughs> oh, that's the one you were talking about. Yeah. Well, that's and, nice that you help. Yeah, him. I do. I, I make him a latte every morning. And then he's moving in with a gay man. That, that I don't think he's gay. You'll dude. just take whoever will have you. <laughs> no, no. This I'm renting a room. Uh, okay, so you're not homeless. In he's not April, homeless. he lived on our couch for six months. Yeah. Everyone's got a buddy that has to do that. I went through some shit. That's fine. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. How's it going? Oh. <laughs> that's fine. All right. This is a good hour of power. Thanks. It's already begun. He's been interviewing. We've been I barely, going. I barely felt you in me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I realize this is happening. <laughs> he hasn't even come yet. Oh, um, it's, it's emotional. It's not because it's I emotional couldn't. Emotional coming? It's not because I couldn't. So girls call crying. It's not because I had to poo. It's because <laughs> my heart's broken oh. and I couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Here is your bio written by Farside, our intern, who is texting probably uh, Todd Glass right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to Todd Glass? You're Todd. I love you. He is an intern on Todd Glass's show, too. Are you still on the Todd Glass show? That's where I'm going after this. To so do Todd's show? Up. No, I'm just oh. I don't know where he does his show. Um, Farside does his show, too. Get your leg. 
Sorry. <laughs> She's talking to her dog. Liza's a, a little obsessed with oh, her dog. I'm just be, it's, it's beyond. A, it's, it's really sick. creepy. I live alone. <laughs> uh, Look at Duke. <laughs> He's... <laughs> Duke's the most depressed dog in the world. If you put a shotgun and figure out a way for Duke to pull the trigger, Duke would do it's it. It's looking at my dog like, is the furniture moving? Is that a cat? No, it's looking at your dog going, I wonder what it's like to live in the same home and get fed on a regular oh, no. basis and and then and, and not have to eat my asshole to try to kill myself. <laughs> hey, have you seen him though? He looks great, doesn't no, he? He looks great. Why have you had the cone on him? No, he doesn't eat the cone anymore. Why? Aww. Is he happy with the MS man? Yeah, he loves the MS guy. Yeah. All right, let me read your bio that Farside wrote. Mm-hmm. Eliza is the youngest person to win the title of Last Comic Standing, and that reminds me of my old cinematography teacher. Don't worry, she was a cool teacher, and you're both very attractive women. She, you wrote this? she Farside, our intern. <laughs> is there something? I thought you were like smart. It's the glasses. Like, this- yeah. Okay. No, no, it's great. <laughs> she, and then in parentheses, Eliza can be seen. <laughs> Your cinematography teacher can be seen. <laughs> can, can be seen on Comedy Central Presents, as well as the documentary I Am Comic. You want to get that plug in because, Jordan, you lo- yeah. Um, she's the host of CBS <laughs> dating show Excused, where she can act as a grammar police for stupid, attractive women and help a couple of crazy bitches That's fuck funny. up a bunch of dudes. It's about to start. It's the second season, so it must be pretty good. We should all watch it together. Oh, that was cute. That's like refrigerator worthy. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> we'll cut it out for you. And then Ray Roy just gave the edit. He said, Eliza also just finished shooting the new Diablo Cody film with Russell Brand and Octavia Spencer. Uh, why wouldn't you have picked that up, Farside? <laughs> That's kind of important. Yeah. No, what's important is that your cinematography teacher and I share a lot <laughs> in terms of gender. She will be shooting a late night talk show pilot for VH1 and will have just come from shooting her web series, The Weekly News, Today. which is the longest running web series on the internet. People can see it at www.thestream.tv forward slash weekly. Um, w E A K O Y. I was just going to say, oh, yeah, w- it's- how the fuck does anybody find this with that web address? Well, you can go to the stream and usually my picture pops up first. So you just click that. You can click that because I've only got a couple other shows, but that's, yeah, it's not the. Okay. How many cameras on your shoot there on that, that show that you do? Maybe th- that are just on me. There's two. And then we have my chat tech, my like sidekick girl. She's got one. Okay. On my, her. my question is, is one of those just like a handy cam that a friend gave you that you carry around with <laughs> is you this all day? where you come back into and the then, story? Yeah. And then the other one, an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because Jim, Jim was throwing out all his shit when he moved out of my house, and uh, <laughs> he found a camera from I'd say 1996, <laughs> and he gave it. It was like it was like a Hi8 Super 8 camera. Oh, okay. Jason's been carrying it around filming things. What have you That's been filming? That's very punk rock. It's actually it's got like a 30 gig hard drive in it. Sweet. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, you 30 should. gig. Is it, it on, shoots it's on in like 780 or something like that? 780. Not even. Not even. No. no. Yeah, it does. No. Nope. Terry, no. Terry no. set it up, man. My friend set. Oh, a, he converted it. No. no such thing as 780 back then. But Eddie's exaggerating about the camera. It's actually not that bad. It is bad. It's and is it on a uh, high? Is it on uh, eight mil? Is it on mini DV tapes or is it no no it's, high eight? It's hard disk. Hard disk. It's, it's all just hard disk. But let me ask you this: hard SD. disk on a video camera from 1996? Yeah, that's it's not that old. That's what I'm saying. He's Jason, exaggerating. does an iPhone shoot better? The new one does. <laughs> But the new one's like fucking so he ca- sick, though. So he carries around this big camera. It's like, little. It's this fucking big. Well, I'll have to see it because Do you have it with you. One no. of you is a liar. Um, I feel like it might be you. Nope, nope. No, no. Trust me, I got pictures of it. I'll show you. It's not high def, Damn it, but it's I took enough. I could guess it's not you high can, def. You can go to our website, jimandeddytalkshow.com. Right. You can see pictures of Jason see filming. Pictures of a camera. <laughs> I took pictures of him filming today. Aww, but this is going to be his new show. He's going to film with that camera and then the... Between his filming and your writing skills, you could put together a whole kindergarten ex- expose <laughs> and just have the parents come. And you know, like, that's I a good buy group. Huh? Kids stuff. Like, if we could appeal to that market... Yeah, you totally appeal yeah. to kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should go that route. <laughs> Just walk up to a kid and be like, I hear that you're in my demographic. Does, this does is my any, video camera. Does anybody let like kids around anymore. you? Yeah. Do you even see kids? I'm great with kids. I never see kids I never in see LA. kids, especially here. No. Oh, I are you them. kidding, dude? They're all around your neighborhood <laughs> He now. knows where they are. No, like in the last... Like, I went to this website. I registered. I found all the kids. <laughs> No, and yeah, in this neighborhood is becoming like total kid friendly. Family, yeah. no, like there's families. Like you got people all around you now complaining about how you put your trash cans out. And like five years ago, there was just stabbings going on back there. Yeah, okay, there was almost fair. a stabbing in our last episode. I have a drug dealer on my block too. You Do you? Know. Is he a good it's not one? Not just you. Is it cocaine or marijuana? 
Ooh, I don't know. But what I do know is that he has a ground floor apartment. And at any time, at any point in the day, the window is open and they've got like a piece of cardboard that they put in. And there's always random, I'm just going to say it, Latino men at the window. Shh, there's two yeah, of them sorry. here. No, two. it is. And they're that doing, one's a and they talk into the window and then they leave. And the guy's got a surveillance camera there and he's always got a new car. So he's obviously, I wish he would just be, I don't know, just a little bit more clandestine about it because like it's obvious that you're dealing a lot of drugs. Um, Jason, you used to deal drugs, right? Oh, I shouldn't have talked about that. I don't know. That should we delete that, that out? Should we delete that? I, don't, I think Everyone's that wouldn't be good, man. <laughs> I don't think that's like good for anyone to have that. Were you planning like on that, running for uh, office? I mean, honestly. Yeah. I ran for office once. What? Not f- not from an office. <laughs> no. I ran for office. <laughs> no, Eddie, I've never dealt drugs. Yeah. You uh, you dispensed legal medicinal marijuana, correct? No, I have not. I thought you did. No, I've never dispensed anything. Because that's illegal. Certainly not come. Not an hour. That's il- <laughs> it's illegal to Can dispense it in any way unless you're a, a, a registered care provider or, or one of those cooperatives. Aren't you now a registered care provider with the MS no, guy? No, no, I'm not. Is he allowed to smoke marijuana? Yes. Does he have his card? Yes. So because he has MS. No, we're just allowed to have, between the two of us in there, we're allowed to have up to a pound legally, I think. He uh, gave me that to- about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Did he give it to you or did it fall like it, off it of him? It fell did, off his mm-hmm. beard. Did you dispense that to Devlin? Devlin's holding a bud that... I didn't give him anything. I don't know what he's talking about. You you legally dispensed that to him or illegally? He must have just picked that up off You're the table. You're a dealer. No, I'm not. You're a dealer, Jason. No, problem. I'm not. He's a philanthropist. Do you, do you have a cardboard door? <laughs> no, you I don't have, have a door. Um, I want to show the picture of Jason filming. I want to show his camera so Eliza doesn't think I'm lying. Yeah. Here, unhook. Here's the picture of Jason. It's not a bad camera. <laughs> it's it's more recent than DV. It's not DV. It's better right. than that. Okay, you don't have to qualify it. I'm sure it's a lovely piece of machine. <sighs> you know, Hello. when you don't have a shovel, you use your hands, right? What? Yeah, I feel like you know that because it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so bad. It looks digital. It is. Eddie's so the- you lied to me. He's this guy was honest. <laughs> Black is white. Up is down. Why would I, I lie to you? You got one of those faces. Hey, no. Jesse's here. It's I about not. time. Marathon You're man. So you got a sweet face. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Here, this you lied big time. That is obviously a digital <laughs> camera. Jesse, Jesse, you know cameras. How old is this camera that Jason's been? That's even filming, that could even have a touch screen. Filming this it, new TV show. No, it's got a laser uh, it's got, activated yeah, it's screen. It's got a whole thing. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's not too bad. It shoots in what? 780. Okay. Yeah, this is, you made it sound like he was like a like a VHS recorder. It looks like it. No, it doesn't. That would be cool <laughs> though. And he carries a big bag with it. No, everything you say from now on cuz you made me doubt him. That's this sweet the, soul. That's the bag that goes with it. They should have bags. What's wrong with that bag? Oh, it's one of those igloo coolers. <laughs> 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 it's not for it. It holds a lot of stuff. Holds all my pot that I don't dispense. <laughs> all right, it's just pictures of him now. That's great. There's nothing you're going to do to convince me that camera's not fine. That's what I do. I just follow him around and take pictures of him all day long. Poor guy. No wonder he's paranoid. <laughs> no, he's paranoid for other reasons. That's his marijuana problem. I don't have a problem. No, you don't have a problem at all. You just haven't had a job in three years. That's not Is this true. an intervention? Yeah, it, well, we've tried that. We've <laughs> tried that. How many sit-downs have we had? I don't even know this guy. Uh, Nobody does, but he's the talent. Yeah. Right, the talent, yeah. You should get a robe made with that. Well, you know, I, uh, I I remodeled a house in February. What house? Uh, Twitchies. Just someone's? I, the I, MS I, guy? Oh. No, I gutted a 900 square foot uh, guest house in uh, do you have any February. Work, do you have any work you need done at your place? I'm yeah, very yeah. handy. You should totally come over. <laughs> I should give you tools and, and be in a room with you alone. <laughs> <laughs> this would be great. After an hour, I'd be like, this isn't happening. <laughs> yeah. He, he builds things. Actually, I did make something today. What'd you make? Okay, so this is you know, you're gonna eyes might roll back in your head, but you can take a, a piece of metal like a magnet board, and you take your makeup and you glue magnets to the back of your makeup. And instead of it sitting on your counter, you mat you stick them to the board, so all your makeup's on the wall. That all our listeners just slit their throats. No, it was a craft project. <laughs> I had to get a level. I had to get a hammer. And in the night, everything fell off the fucking board and smashed onto the ground. And now there's makeup all over my carpet. So you can come clean the carpet. 
don't read into that. You can just come clean the regular carpet. Um, that was my big crafty project. Wait, I, but the, but more importantly, what kind of hair coloring do you use? I don't. You don't color your hair at all. I don't do it. I'm not poor. Do you know what? <laughs> do, you, do you know what kind your, your hairdresser uses? Why would I talk to her? <laughs> This show's all about love and caring. See, and Jason, Jason, and you still work equality. for Eva. You still work for Eva, right? Yeah, I still help out. He works for an international hair care company where he's he's an international distributor. What are you, marketing rep? I do the marketing. I write the copy for a, a hair care company, and so if he can hook you up with hair coloring, dirty hair color. I don't want that. I have my own. I go to a pl- every girl has a thing, a place. Yeah, they're very. I don't very, mean to melt off your like listeners' religion. wieners, but very, very girls are very. No, picky no, about no, it. no. Our listeners have a good understanding of hair color. I think now. Why? Because I've told them. So that makes so they listen. You're assuming they listened. I think so. Yeah. No, I'm okay. But thank you for that. They're okay. called listeners. Isn't that you what you got me doing? there? They're what, not listening. What is this CBS dating show you're doing? It's called Excuse. This is our second season. It is not on CBS, contrary to the bio. It is CBS syndicated. So okay. that means CBS makes it. Don't go looking on CBS. Is it like uh, a telepictures kind of thing? No. It's, it's no, CBS. To, okay. Um, CBS distributed, and it's on KCAL 9 here, and it's syndicated, so it's on every channel in every city. Uh, I couldn't tell you which ones. You can go to the website. And so it's a com- It's the same people that did Blind Date. Okay, that's... So they that- pretty much let me loose on these people, and uh, it, we've made it... We we made it we made it funny. Jim and I send Jason on dates often, mm-hmm. and um, thank God we, you're here. Yeah, and and so <laughs> so we we we're sending him on, we sent him on a date recently where he went on a date with a hooker. She's not a hooker. She was a hooker. She That's was, not a hooker. We she got probably a, wasn't a hooker. We got her on a website where you buy them. <laughs> That's anyone's on those. Oh, but we had to pay money. He paid one hundred and sixty dollars. Roses or money? Money. Okay. So a um, website. Uh, what would you bid? Is that really? Yeah. WWYB? What, what's it called? What what's you, your price or something? What's your price? Can we see it? We pull yeah. it up on the monitor. Show the girl we sent him on the date with. Um, so we sent him on a date. <gasps> Look at you. <clears throat> She's talking to her dog again. Um, this is his girl that he went on the date with. I just can't see from very far away. She's really pretty. <laughs> what's the? Is that a man? No. Okay. Nobody. <laughs> Come here. But he's done Get that down. too. Get down. Someone make her get down. She's talking Stick to Jason. Stick your hand up there. <laughs> get down. What's wrong with this girl? With Dana? Uh, she went out with Jason for one hundred and sixty dollars. I think most most women that were homeless would do that. She's not homeless. She needs something. There's something. She was raped. Something. <laughs> <laughs> She's really a black hey, dude. Hey, she says let's laugh, and you know what? That's what we did. I like how there's a woman who prostitutes herself, but then has the audacity to put non-smoker like you'll fucking smoke whatever I want you to smoke, you whore. <laughs> <laughs> on my show, the girls, like, sometimes will get questionable, women of questionable character, and they make a big deal about kissing. On a reality show, women of questionable it's, character. It's weird, but, like, they'll, they'll come up and be like, I don't kiss on a first date, and I'll go upstairs and I'll Google them, and you'll see a picture of them, like, getting, like, yeah. rammed in the b-hole, and I'm like, but don't kiss on a first date. Yeah. That's out of the question. It's happened only once. I can't believe you just said b-hole. That's so dirty. Well, I just felt I should level it out, because... Because we go to the extreme the first, on the show. Yeah. No, Jim's not here. Um, Jason... Yes. Um, will you go on her dating show? Sure. Can we get him on, no, please? We will not. Please, 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 please. No, I please, don't. Please. Yes, go ahead. Fill out an application. At <laughs> excusetv.com. You can. There's an application. Is you there a chance? Out. But I mean, you. How can... old are you? 39. I, I, don't, I do think there's a cutoff. <laughs> <laughs> 38 and 11 months. Uh, isn't it doesn't say like apply or something? There it is. Is that you up there with the feather blown hair? It looks like you're like yeah. standing in front of a fan. What it looks like when it's not dirty. Uh, uh, you need an address. <laughs> <laughs> just do the uh, do, just do the consensual sex. Just put cottage. right behind you. Just right without a door. Come here. Um, Stop messing with that dog. <laughs> no, right. I do the podcast on Mondays. I can't be available then. Driver's license or ID number. You don't have that. You're off the grid. Do we have a passport? No, I have, I have a driver's do license. Do you have a passport? It's expired. Have you left the country? I was born out of the country. Were you and then, born? But then did you ever... Panama. Did you ever leave again? Panama. Then we moved to Germany for a while. I kind of grew up there until I was four. <laughs> that was a lot of growing up. Well, o- I, occupation I was, is mandatory, too. grew up fast too. and hard in Germany. Is that where you met the Pringles? <laughs> no. <laughs> in the camps? No, that was in Ohio. Um, all right, occupation. Oh, you're fucked there. And make sure you put he brings his own video camera. <laughs> Entrepreneur. <laughs> Should put that. That's not my occupation. Emergency contact, put Devlin. <laughs> um, if 
Is there any way you could have some pull and maybe get him on the show? Yes. Okay. But I won't. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how fun it would be to have Jason on that show? Okay, fill out the thing and I'll tell my cousin works hey, in casting. So. Retardo, do it like right, okay? No, we really want you to fill it out. <laughs> Don't. Retardo. No, we've, we've put Jason on these things before and it doesn't. First, we put on match.com. Hey, that girl liked me. Didn't work out. We had Ooh, fun. You sound like a rapist. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's no offense to you, no, but no, that's like I'm famous about the, final words. No, I'm talking about the hooker. She liked me. We yep. actually had fun. She paid to like you. You say I didn't do good, but we had a fun time. I asked you about rape once, and what did you say? You said, I know I look like I could rape. If I was in prison, I'd be on the top of the food chain. I could rape men I was or on women. drugs and drunk and <laughs> fucked up. He Never. Said, he said, I could rape men or women. Or women. Just kidding. Like, Just, men came first, and then he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Also, I'm not a fag. Yeah. Women too. I'll rape anyone. Equal opportunity. Rape. I didn't say I would. But you could. You'd be if I the... had to. But when if... you're inside, you got to survive, man. You do got to do what you got to do. When you're inside a dude's butt, it's like fuck or, like, or be fucked, man. Is that how it goes in prison? Fuck I, or be fucked? I think so. I, think I don't like, know. I don't so know. when you get to prison the first day, would you just start <laughs> fucking everyone so that they don't get you? Dude, this guy's crazy. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> would you get to them before they get to you? <laughs> Be like, we weren't going to fuck you. We're like, I'm going to... Watch this. How would you rape a guy in prison? <laughs> I'm not going to... Just explain it. Explain what you would do. No! You're going to need over an hour. This just creates intent. You know, like, if it ever happened, and then they go, oh, look, he said it. No, not if you do a disclaimer. <laughs> do a disclaimer before it. It's premeditated. It. Just say, this is... They're usually ruining future defense for me. No. This, this is all hypothetical. I, I, my fifth, name... fifth, Jason, fifth commandment. Jason, you're in prison. <laughs> you know it's... You get fucked or you fuck them. How do you do it? Well, first you let them start to rape you. Okay. And when they're inside, you squeeze really fucking, you On know, and then cheeks. that's when you fight back. You rip After off they've their already, dick with your butthole. when they let their guard down. Is that what you're saying? He's you whip do, off his dick it. with your butthole. Yeah. He's doing the prison rape rope a dope. <laughs> <laughs> Go until it hurts and then, just, <laughs> and then make him bleed. <laughs> You're gonna kill him. You rip off his. You're penis, not worried you about kill killing them. somebody, Eliza. You, you should be. Fucking rape them, I am. Would, no, because then you'll be in jail the rest of your life. No, he's in. You're in for the oh, rest for of life? your life. Oh, you're okay. in for life. Yeah. I, I, they found out you've been selling drugs to children that you've been molesting. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're creating the whole. Yeah, this isn't hypothetical anymore. Or you could choose the mystery door. I'll take the mystery He's door. Not good mystery doors, doors you, got, you got to rape a dude until you die. Until he dies. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have chosen a mystery door. It was a horrible mystery door. Well, you know. <laughs> just choke him. <laughs> yeah. If it's, if it's... I watch what's it lock up on MSNBC. You guys watch that show? Especially when they do the women's one. I get nervous if I watch it too much that I will end up there. Like, because you project so much. Oh, I'm terrified of going to jail. That's my biggest fear in the world. I don't go to jail. And I, I can, I've snapped before. And I always, like, it only takes that one person where you're at your wit's end. And you're like, fuck this. And then. You're like, oh, I, w I shouldn't have killed that person. It was then, an accident with your car or something, and they deserved it. Now you're in jail with these maniacs. Yeah, well, I, I don't even care about the maniacs. I'm claustrophobic. So, like, on the Alcatraz tour, I couldn't go in the fucking cell. And they're like, just go in there. I'm like, nah, I won't no, even, I won't even go See, in there. I don't want to go joke because I'm a picky eater. Mm. I wouldn't care about <laughs> that. That sounds so gross. That's not what I meant. I meant, <laughs> I, like, I look at what they eat, and they have, like, bologna sandwiches and just white trash food, and I, I would go on hunger, hunger strike. Dude, in that tent city, all they get is... Uh, Vending machine food. They should. <laughs> Pig. No, I mean, people are in there for traffic violations and shit. Where? Don't violate traffic. In Arizona, yeah, in Arizona. the tent city. No. This guy is Sheriff Joe. He's insane. No, he's not insane. And I'll tell you something else. You don't. It's not a traffic violation. It's one of several, or it, you did something egregious. You don't DUIs, go to jail for... First offenses. A friend of mine got a first well, that offense never DUI. Go back. He did 45 days. I went to and, him. And he, and here, yeah, I have a don't friend who was in there. Arizona. I was, no, they get people, in, they, they go for California tags big time. Like, But I know a guy that was in there for 60 days, and he said that during the daytime, it's so fucking hot from the sun. Yeah. And then all the beds are iron, right, frame. They heat up. Yes. So basically you go insane because you're insomnia. You can't sleep the whole time you're in there. Because it's like the conditions are fucking horrible. I just feel left out because I don't know anyone that's been in prison. Yeah, I know a lot of people. Um, so. Speaking of which, I was out and uh, I had done a show and I was with a friend of mine from high school who is now a DA. And I'm at the bar and I'm talking to some dude who was at my show and he oh. goes, hey, hey, fun show, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, holy shit. And I go, what? He goes, I'm up for four felonies right now. 
And I go, what? He goes, yeah, I got four felonies. I got court on Monday, and my DA is right there. That's who's prosecuting me. And I go, her? That's my friend. <laughs> I go, Uh-oh. hold on. I'll see what I can do. Oh, my God. So I go over, and I'm drinking. We're getting wasted together, my friend from high school. And I go, that dude's a cool guy. I don't fucking. And she's like, oh, my. She goes over and starts talking to him. And they like, hey, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. So then she comes back. And I go, now you have to fuck him. You have to. It'll be the best story ever if you two get drunk together. Fuck. Then he has his trial on Monday. And at the trial, he thinks he's going to get off because you two fucked. Because he but got you, off. But you look at him and you yeah. just go, you sucked. And you throw the book at him and send him away to prison. Horribly irresponsible story. I can't. Did she? No. Okay. But so then, so then she was like, I was like, what's the deal? And he got arrested like with tons and tons of marijuana plants and everything. I was like, oh, fuck. You don't give a shit about that. And I was like, what's the least he can get? And she's like, oh, we can drop it to the. And I'm like, you got to do that. So I go over to him and I'm like, I think I worked it out. And the trial was today. So I got to find out. Text uh, her. I got to find out. Yeah, I've, I've got to find out what happened to him. Uh, I hope I got the fucking guy off. Um. That's what? funny soundbite. <laughs> you got me, Jason. Here, That's why do you he's have my the phone? talent. Oh, let's find out if the guy, what he got. I hope she doesn't go away. I want to get on the soundboard, Eddie. I hope I got the guy off. I hope I got the guy off. I hope I got the guy off. Because I'm, no, really, I'm of, really worried oh, that chihuahuas I chihuahuas that are around. This yeah. is like, Because all these families went and got chihuahuas for their kids, yeah, not realizing chihuahua. that chihuahuas can be like total shits and like they're not good pets for kids. So all these chihuahuas, all these chihuahuas went to the pound, man. Like after the Beverly Hills, it's like could be like the Beverly Hills Chihuahua incident of Los Angeles. What do they do with them? Chihuahua gate. Well, they, chihuahua. Some gate. of them yeah. turned into half breeds, I guess. Chihuahua. Gate. Others were probably thrown in ovens. Half breed. Is that a half breed? Does what anybody? Kind of does anybody know? Breed. Does anybody know Wink Martindale? Yeah, he used to host Tic Tac Toe. Yeah, I was on an airplane once. I'm sitting next to him. And uh, I saw his ticket. That I was like, I know this guy. And I looked down, I see his ki- ticket. It's Wink Martindale. I'm like, holy fuck, this is Wink Martindale. So I tried to talk to him. He was mad, ignored me. Then some woman wanted off the plane. Did you ever see somebody try to get off a plane after the doors are closed? Yeah. Everybody is yelling at her. The whole plane, because we want to take down, off. down, ma'am. Yeah, and everybody's yelling. And all of a sudden, Wink Martindale just looks over at me. He goes, would somebody get this cunt off this plane? Oh <laughs> and I'm like, you are fucking awesome, Wink. <laughs> so we bond over that. He goes, get me a drink. Wink and I start drinking. We start talking. He tells me he's got something like 17 chihuahuas, and every one of them is named after one of his game shows. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, How long ago was this? This was like a year ago. No, maybe two. He had is 17 he dead? game shows? Is he shows? dead? He, looked he looks dead. dead. Yeah. yeah. No, see, go look. Look, see how many dogs he has. Who has 17 dogs? Go to Wink Martindale's Do you dogs. match your, your nail polish to your uh, iPhone cover? No. Okay. First of all, it's a Blackberry. Second of all, no. Just got it. it don't I you have, have you've got a good career. Why do you have a Blackberry? Because I'm an adult. No, yes. that, that doesn't go anymore. <laughs> what? That used to work. I got a whole bit based on it. I hope it goes. No, the I, that iPhone is For amazing. No. It is an amazing piece toy. of machinery it's a toy it's a toy i need i only need my phone for a calendar and an alarm clock and texting and i like to feel the keys you don't ever call someone never <laughs> never call i have no friends i don't know how i got booked here because <laughs> i saw you at the improv and i was like oh she'd be funny on the show oh. and then you ducked out like i, I waved to you and you were like oh no, you know, oh can i tell you about that run. by the way uh i can't see from very far i can't see that t- like i can barely make out what's i can't even make that out well, why don't you wear contacts because fuck them and Lasers? I can see large objects, uh, and so you, I felt bad because you waved, and I couldn't see who you were, and then it clicked because I think I got closer to you, and I always feel bad because I always look like I'm either glaring at someone or ignoring them. I just can't see faces from that far away, so I, I felt bad about that. Yeah, Did you hear that, Matt? What? No, she you, can, I'm giving a mean She look can't too. see faces from far away. I can't. I can't see a lot of things. But Why did you just rain man that? Why are you shaking about, moving back and forth? Oh, it feels good on my... Hand with my elbow when I do this. <laughs> this is you have the habits of a crazy person. <laughs> He's a crazy person. He is a crazy. He's your person. friend. Yeah, not a friend. He's a you. Friend. You're inhabited. You railed me last week about being your friend. Are you my friend, Jason? Are we friends? Was, was I? T- yeah, and I conceded last, that we were friends. Was that last week or today? It was last week. No, it was today. Because Jim was here. Don't you remember? Ooh. It was Jim and you. Jim is just keeping no, me. I'm always rolling tape, dude. I want to. <laughs> 
I want to get back to you raping someone. I don't want to rape anybody. Uh, Please, can we stop? What you would do if you did rape? I just said. How would you rape Eliza? Look, I don't like that. You know what? (laughs) Here's the deal. It would not go down that way. (laughs) I don't want to think about it. What would you do with the dog first to get to her? Why why is it happening? Because, look, when you think about something. I'd hit her over the head with the dog. (laughs) (laughs) I just don't want to travel down that path. What do you mean? I don't want to put my mind there. Okay. Do it anyway. I don't know. <laughs> do because then everybody... No. On I the last episode, you showed us how you'd kick my face off. I'm okay with then- that. <laughs> I don't want to rape anybody, though. Rape is, like, horrible. Like, you know, I've been pretty close... Bad. It's pretty okay. bad. Okay. I've been close with people that have been raped, and I'll tell you what... Why well, I've been close to raping. <laughs> That's no, I'm just saying as far as, like, the damage yeah, that it does fun. to a person, I like, I... I have a shit ton of empathy for people that are victimized in that way. Okay, and Farside. And I don't want to joke about Farside it. Farside has a rape fantasy. We're going to give you... Oh, I'll rape Farside. <laughs> That's okay. I, I take it back. How, Farside, where are you? How would you rape Farside? Oh, shit. He'd Get go down quick button. and easy, dude. I'd how just, would you do it, though? I'd just trip him. And then what? He'd fall down. And then how you get his Th- pants off? Dude, when he falls down, he's pretty much kind of stuck there. Right. Right? So, like... And his pants are always fall half fallen off anyways. Uh-huh. So it's all the work's done. Gravity and the fact that he can't keep his pants would up. Would you pull his pants all the way off or would you leave him like half half the way down? Do half, it's more you could probably get a good amount of penetration with just like the top of his crack. <laughs> <'Cause> his <laughs> You're projecting a lot into that. <laughs> and then how many pumps would it take you? With him? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You can't have this. Do you want some more? Not many. Farside's not in the room, by the way. He, he just, just got, got back and has yeah. no idea what's going on. <laughs> would you pump? Wait, but would you be able to come with him? Yeah, because I'm angry at him. <laughs> <laughs> Willingly, though. See, I would lure you in. I'd be like, hey, hey, little boy, come on. Let me read some more of your writing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole room that wants to hear about it. Come on in and let's hear your weird comparisons. You'd be like, okay. Do you like Take candy? Take your pants off. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he looks like a little boy with his glasses on. Take your glasses off. Take your glasses Don't off. Don't do this to me. Super Show us the glasses off. Oh, what oh. a man. <laughs> <laughs> a burly man. You're so sexy, dude. Uh, looks oh like my. Devlin with his glasses off. It's amazing how you just get burly and... Rugged. You, you wanted to know where you were getting raped? You're getting raped in the back fat. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so gross. Uh, April Macy named this the Rape Cottage because she came here and she's like, I couldn't find this place. And then I went down Rape Alley, and then there was like a Rape Alley, another one, and all of a sudden I get to the Rape Cottage. Like Edith Bunker. Have you heard uh, April? <laughs> yeah, you want to get the push, you better buy me a sandwich. Oh <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you friends with April Macy? Friendly. I don't. Friendly? I mean, we don't hang. I, I've only met her twice. Oh, really? Nice girl. I mean, I like, April's funny. Yeah. I liked, we did a, we were the only two comics that showed up for the I Am Comic movie premiere, thinking we were both going to have a bigger part in it. I'm only in it for one scene. Oh. And they continue to credit me. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, Farside's friend. He's yeah. A nice no, guy, George, uh, great guy. Yeah. No, he's great. But we showed up. No one else was there from the film. And so she and I bonded over that. He came and did the podcast one night and was just like, oh, my God, I didn't know, realize what I walked into. This is a rape yeah, conversation. Yeah, he's like, well, I mean, we do more Get than that. Get out of here. I'm just kidding. We do more than rape conversation. We've, we've had a lot of really um, interesting things going on. We had Ben Glebe and Jim had an eating competition while we showed videos of starving African children. But for me, you chose the rape. I didn't. It just, it just, me, it was, it went just do down rape. that path. It just, it's a good feeling when there's... Eight guys in the room and one girl. It just feels like that's what it naturally has to be. Stop. And, and an Lalit, Lalit doesn't matter because she's been it. she's been raped. That's awful. Mentally, Anyways. mentally. Oh, who hasn't? Oh, yeah. We all watch reality TV. But Lalit asks for it. She's mm. the one that's like she would like it. No, I enjoy it. <laughs> being well, mentally that's raped. What, that's her fantasy. What is this conversation her fantasy is, to? Her fantasy is being raped. Stop. Stop. While I'm sleeping. Is it? Yeah. What? I know. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet though. And you wonder why That's why she I does that You wonder guy. why he's fig- why Jason has figured out how to break into your building. <laughs> I one time went over to Lilith's and she was supposed to film something for us. Is this and about I co- rape? I couldn't get in. Okay. Couldn't get in. I see him find this way that you like trigger the door. Because I saw the little gangsters do it. And he can break <laughs> into her building. Oh yeah. No, they know. fixed it though. I told her to complain to the manager and they fix, haven't it. fixed it. But She's while like, it was not fixed, I used it sometimes. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like that he used that. He knows my gate code. He won't use the gate code, but he'll unlatch the door. He knows your top. fantasy. It's more yeah. adventures of the... <laughs> anyway. Sounds great. So uh, this was a good episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I had to ask you, what year did you win Last Comic Standing? 2008. 2008. Were you the last one? Well... Do they still do it? No, they did it one year after me, but nobody watched it, so everyone thinks I was the last one to win. Really? But there was one more. Um, Who won? Felipe Esparza. Oh, Felipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like Felipe a I lot. I do, too. He's a nice guy. To be fair, it was not done as well. The set. Like, the last year, there, you, you could tell they were like, oh, let's just get this done. They did it like a soundstage in Glendale. A hundred people in the audience, including most of my family. So, but he, he came after me. Yeah, I was. I did it the second year they ever did. I did it the first year. I walked in. And I didn't know what was going on. I just went. I thought it was an audition. And they were filming. And I called my manager. I go, why are, why are they filming in an audition? Mm -hmm. And he goes, uh, I don't know. And I go, why is everyone filming? I go, they're filming. They've got cameras in an audition. And they were making us sign release forms. And I go, I'm not signing He didn't tell you what it was? He no just, idea. Like, you in. He was just like, oh, you're supposed to get over to NBC right now. Blah, blah, blah. And then it was like Madison Square Garden. I'm like, why is NBC at Madison Square Garden? And I'd just gotten off a plane, so I go there. And I go, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable getting filmed for an audition and signing a release. And they, they started yelling at me. They're like, get the fuck out. Get oh the God. fuck out then. And I'm like, because I guess a lot of people, that was the first year, mm -hmm. a lot of people were like, I'm not doing this shit. Burn my material on so this. Then, so then everybody left, and then the guys that were on it made like 10 grand a night, and everyone was like, I wish I was on it. I, it's, I mean, it's, it's over, and it was so long ago, but I always find it funny how so many comics like crap on it, and they're like, I would never do it. It's like, you would if you got on. Everyone did it. Every, everyone Everyone's did it, it. and there's no, there's no downside to it unless you suck, then your career sucks. Yeah. But anybody that's done it that worked hard got a lot out of it. You either won or you hate it. It's really <laughs> true, and I had to go on tour with the people who didn't win, and it was I'm a tougher woman be, uh, for it. Who'd you tour with? You wouldn't even know their names. Really? They're dead now. Who's here? Power Hour fucking raped them. Oh. Uh, and they're asleep on, with a latch come thing on, that who, opened who, up. Who was with you that year? Uh, on the tour? Yeah. Um, Louis Ramey. I know Lou Ramey. Yeah, He's I like guy. Louis. Uh, this kid named Jeff Dye. This kid I know named Jeff Dye. Marcus. Who, Jeff Dye's got the hot Playboy chick. Yes, he does have yeah. a Playboy girlfriend. This kid named uh, Marcus, who I don't think anyone knows or should. I don't, he doesn't. He lives in like another state. And uh, this bald British guy named Jim Tavaroy. I know Jim, too. I used to work with him in the UK. Yeah, we'll get them all on a bus and see how friendly they are to you I, six I, months traveling, after. <laughs> traveling with comics is the worst thing in the whole world, unless they're your closest friends. And, and you can become, it's the, I don't even talk about that experience, but in general, it's always tough because we all need attention. Right. That's why we're comics. Anyone that says diff, different is a liar or doesn't know why they're doing this. You need attention on some level, and there's alphas and betas, and I'm not the kind of person, in general, like at any show or anything, that where I'm going to be jumping up and down like, oh my God, pay attention to me. So I tend to become a shrinking violet because there's only so much energy in the room. But I heard on that tour, you just kept going, but I'm the winner. <laughs> Don't look at my tattoo. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but so just with comics in general, you never know. Like sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're just exhausting. Like, sometimes. Just, oh, sorry. Jim and I lived here together for three years. Um, It'll either make you best friends or, but even like at festivals and stuff, I never, like I always think comics, I always like walk up to a group and like, hey guys, it's like a high school lunchroom all over again. Everybody thinks... Uh, oh, you hang out with a bunch of comics. It'll be the f most funny, best most nerve-wracking thing ever. It's terrible. Everyone's miserable and bitter. And I went on tour in New Zealand for two weeks with five other comedians, and they said, "Oh, no drive will be longer than two hours, and you'll fly most places." Two weeks. We are in the van sometimes up to seven hours. Anybody a day. I know? No, they're all international comedians. And, and one was a manic depressive. One was a newly out of the closet gay guy. Is that Jim? One. <laughs> That hasn't happened yet, <laughs> real well, sort of. Um, one was a, uh, one was a uh, a cutter. They all sound like Jim, like all three of them. No, Jim's not yeah. a cutter. This guy was. And a you're in a van. And he did a, he did an hour long show about um, self harming. <laughs> that was his comedy show, and I'm in a and he was the coolest guy of all. That's like I was funny. in the van with. Did all he do the, it on stage? It was fucking miserable. We all hated each other. So unrelatable. It was just the <laughs> worst. I had panic attacks so bad that like one time I called my agent. I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And I smoked some really fucked up pot. And I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. That this is me. really. That wasn't me. Uh, and every once in a while, you get, you get like I have no. If somebody's funny, I have no issue. I'm not about to compete with anyone. There's no money involved. Uh, but it's when you get the ones that aren't funny, the people that just endlessly tag jokes, or to them, it's a competition. 
Like when you're just sitting hanging out with people, you can see it in certain comics' eyes, the ones that are not used to just being around and relaxing versus the ones that like always have to have a joke. And that's the worst. Because you're like, not everything's a green room. The only one I enjoyed on that trip was the gay guy that was awesome. newly out of the closet. You enjoyed him? Yeah, because he was on Grinder, And, uh, and <laughs> I, I, I would, when he was sleeping, I would take his phone and get on Grinder and try to find dudes, and I would talk. You know how Grinder works? No. It's like, Why would I know how Grinder works? You don't have any gay friends? Does anybody know about Grinder? Yeah. Yeah, Grindr is like, uh, it's like gaydar. Like, uh, oh, is it like in the area? Yeah, like they find. It's like layers. You can actually. We got to put Jason on Grinder. No, 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 yes, yes. yes. That's where I put my foot down. That's where he draws the line. I'm putting. Yeah. Why do I? I'm not gay. I'm not into dudes. We're getting the Grinder right now, and we're getting the app. And Jason, you're going on Grinder. Anyway, (laughs) Farzad. I'm gonna like get Farzad is joining it right now. Um, You're a bear. They're gonna fucking love you. Oh, you're gonna love being a bear. Anyway, so what, it, just what it is, it's like you're a gay dude and you write in, you're like, hey, I'm looking to fuck who's around. I got a friend that uses it. And and they're, they show guys like in your area and then you like click on them and you and you can chat with them. And this dude would like would go to sleep and then he'd wake up and I'd be like, hey, uh, you got four dates tomorrow. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, you are going to suck some serious dick. And you're he'd welcome. Like, he'd be like, what? I'm like, I just really... Uh, Wow, did I have some intense chats with these guys, and you were, they're going to fuck the shit out of you. They're ready for you. <laughs> so, Jason, wait till you see what uh, I got for you. No, thanks. And they're all going to be able to find you at the patch. This is wrong. <laughs> You're not right, dude. <laughs> Why don't we just go throw rocks at retarded children at the park together? It's kind of what we do. Uh. Shut up, Jesse. <laughs> you fucking walking around here like you got lead feet, sliding the shit around, making all this noise. You've never you've you don't been, you've never been really hard up for money and, and either blown some dude or thought about it. You don't me. even have the right to speak to me, dude. Ooh, oh, why? why is that? Because you're late. Because I'm late. <laughs> Ouch. Jesse just ran a marathon. I don't yeah. care. What you do on your own time's your business. <laughs> <laughs> you run the LA marathon? I did run the marathon. You yeah. saw it all? Uh, yeah, I'm really fucking sore. <laughs> did you how how long did you train for that? Uh, I I did not long, like two and a half months. Maybe. <laughs> you why are why sore. did you run a marathon? I never understand why people do this. Um, I are you know, a I did dad? It when I was 14, and I was I just wanted to make sure I could do it again. Why? Why? Because you know it's a challenge. It's, but so it. is. Hold yeah, on, hold on. That just gave me an idea. You got your choice, Jason. You got to run a marathon. A marathon or grind. While you get fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why you run the marathon. Like I just, I'm trying to get insight it's, to this. It's for me. I I like having some type of physical goal that I have to accomplish because then it actually keeps me motivated to work out and you know. Okay. Go for it. All right. <laughs> does that make some sense? No. Yeah. No, it does. I just I hate running. Yeah. That's well, all. So I can never relate, but I understand what you. How mean. do you stay skinny? You're skinny. I swim. Oh, well, and I cry a lot. <laughs> like swim. from the hours of like 11 to 2 every day. Swimming's creepy though. When I swim for long times, you're like, uh, you're like in a pool and there's no one. It, it, it's Wait, weird. It just got, it's creepy because you did a weird voice and said you're in a pool and there's yeah, no yeah, one. Yeah, it's just creepy. Why is it creepy? I was captain of the swim team in high school. I was always I wasn't good. See, but... that's how you were in the van, I think. That's how I was in the van? You're like, I'm the winner of last comic standing. And captain, captain of the swim team. But I wasn't the best one on the team. I was just the most popular. That's how you win last comic standing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with swimming? I, got, I put on a cap. It's really good for you. It's so good. It's That's weird. what Jackson does. It's weird, but there's all those dead skin follicles in the pool. That's what the chlorine's for. Yeah, Not cool. swimming in a pond. <laughs> Not swimming in a petri dish. It's where, just, do you, where do you swim? We want our listeners to tell anyone that. <laughs> but I will tell you that sometimes they do allow very old, hairy Russian men that don't wash off. After they work out, definitely wow. Hollywood. Somewhere yeah, in Hollywood, CA. it's not the YMCA. Oh. It's definitely in Hollywood, uh, but it's it's a good work. When I was a little kid, we went to a pool. It was the the PA, the Pittsburgh Athletic Association. We went in to swim. All the little kids are fucking swimming in the pool, and all of a sudden, who comes in the room? Mister Rogers. Oh really? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a be- and everyone in this pool, all the adults, swam naked. And this is not what? a lie. Swear to what God, kind back of pool? then it was the Pittsburgh Athletic Let's Association. Say back then, what, like fifteen years ago? This is like thirty years ago or something. And Mister Rogers came in and said, "All right, kids, out of the pool." And everyone was like having fun. He goes, "Nope, it's my swim time." Out and kicked all the kids out of the pool. And from that day forward, I thought Mister Rogers was a cunt. Yeah, he's a I Vietnam ne- vet. I never fucking liked him. I don't care. I, they should have shot him in Vietnam. Ooh. 
There it is. There's the example of the gay. Naked is that, pool. That's the Pittsburgh is that Athletic Association. Like? And men swam naked in there. Men and, and women? You know what? I'm try- I, You're revealing some parts of your childhood. I'm to starting us, Eddie. to think that's this where the molestation comic. happened. Mr. Rogers fucked me. No. No, he didn't. He, uh, he uh, just touched me. No, we. I remember just being so pissed off at Mr. Rogers for fucking kicking all the kids out of the pool. Well, that's annoying that he did that. All right. Sorry that that happened again. Ooh, look at him. He look sure it was Mr. Rogers. He looks like a pretty nondescript white He, like, dude. killed a lot of people in Vietnam, I'm pretty sure. Did he really? Yeah, he's kind of like a badass, so I are guess... Are you sure? Yeah. I'm as Mr. sure as Rogers you are that that camera from, was old. He was, like, gunning down guys in, like, Vietnam, and then he went to, I'm going to put on a sweater. Well, he's and, old. I mean, you don't stay hard your whole life. Right, Power Hour? No, but you... <clears throat> Sometimes when people snap, they go the other direction, man. They get all, sweet? like, happy and fruity and... Let's, like, let's la, see. La, la. Type in Mr. Rogers Vietnam. I want to find yeah, out. Type in Mr. Rogers body count. Go to snow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, there's a database. I'm pretty sure it's all bullshit. I, I, I'm not going to lie, Les. I find it you really know weird that you're constantly conversing. Mr. Rogers was a Fine. marine sniper. She needs it. <laughs> False. No, well, I'm Wait, never believing in. anything you say again. You're not even. No, now we're even. No, that's a violent cr- and criminal past. Oh. That's not about military service, dude. A body count's a body count. That's I'll what my looking. mom always said. But when you're killing for your country, it's not a crime. Go down. Unless your country Define loses country. the war. Fred. R- <laughs> a large number of confirmed kills to his credit. Wait, wait, wait but this is all in he never, false. He never served in the this military. This is false. Oh, I want to believe. Bah, bah, bah. Who said? Who were the Snopes on Snopes? Yeah, I I often wonder that too. Yeah, like, who's watching the Watchmen? Yeah, Fox. Yeah, I've often wondered like I'm a, right. A debunker. Who's debunking the debunkers? This is not debunked. Let's get to the bottom of this. There, there's more. Maybe he was so. Fiction. It says was a sniper in Vietnam. If he was like fiction. a special forces thing. It's not going to be. Did on you hear there. this from your mom? Nope. Your mom and my mom should hang out. My mom thinks she still thinks Obama's not a citizen. Oh. She she is convinced. She watched her fucking leader O'Reilly even say, "I give up. He's a citizen." And my mom's like, "He's got to your him." Your mom's too. still carrying the torch. Yeah, she's convinced that Obama's gotten to O'Reilly there. now. There. Mr. Rogers was not a Navy SEAL oh, or a I scout can't read marine too bad. sniper. I can't read. I wouldn't have this is a out. great <laughs> urban legend of the 21st century, no! but it is no more than a legend. So then it's o- it's not okay that he kicked out the naked people. No, it's not okay. No. I don't give a fuck. No. It said he was too old to enlist in the military when Vietnam started. Face. And even if he did kill people in the Vietnam War, that was a bullshit war that he shouldn't have killed people in. Yeah, it was a it Bank of America It all started with the war. Gulf of Tonkin. Yeah, and it ruined Jason's childhood. Yeah. Tell Just her, that? Tell her how Vietnam Were you fighting it. in Vietnam? No, my biological father is a Vietnam vet, and he's yeah. psycho. How old are you? 39. <laughs> that, okay. Does he have a chance with you? What? what is, that's a ridiculous question. All our, all our female guests date him at one point. That is not true. They do. It's kind of like Stockholm Syndrome. They fall for him. You might as well just get it over with. I can tell that you're a sweet and gentle soul, but I would never touch your wiener. He hugs well. Don't touch me. How much? Tell her about your chi. Tell her about your chi. I don't want it. I don't want your chi near me. <laughs> He can massage you. He made a girl f- stop hating her father with a massage. No, I because didn't. she was so busy hating him. <laughs> <laughs> you can only have so much. It's like when you stub your toe, hit your hand. It's something else yeah. hurts. Speaking of, I just poked myself in the eye this morning, and it's the most painful On thing. On purpose? Yeah. And it hurts so fucking bad, and there's nothing I can do. Like, it's your eye. You can't rub it. You can't do anything. And all day, all I keep doing is touching my eye like a crazy person. Yeah, I think the eye is the most... I got punched in the eye once, like below the eye, like uh, below your yeah. eyebrow. And it punched straight in my eye, and it was uh, like I couldn't sleep for two days. It hurt. That it was- hurt so much I almost threw up, which I know is not a great story because I didn't throw up, but it's really painful. It ranked one notch below gonorrhea. <laughs> you let your gonorrhea get that bad? Yeah. Well, I was on a twenty-four hour airplane from England to Australia, and ah, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't stop. There wasn't a. But how cli- many 24 hours had you had it before? There, that 24 there, hours? there wasn't a clinic on the plane that I could stop in and be like, "Hey, can you fix this?" Right. I had to land in in uh, in Australia where they uh, where they amputated. Where they slap your penis? No, they just to get rid of it. No, they yeah. just, they just shove a pill in, up the urethra. Up the urethra, yeah. No, they didn't do that. I didn't have gonorrhea. I had syphilis. I used to work for Planned Parenthood, so I know that it wouldn't. Did, have hurt. Wh- really? There was a, an acting troupe, a theater troupe called like Tact in Dallas where I grew up, and I was. Part of it, you audition and you would go to like high schools. 
un, uh, like underprivileged high schools and areas. And Wait, do, I didn't go to do, an underprivileged high school, and they came to my school. I remember. Them. Yeah, and you would do like skits about like gangs or drugs or sex, and I never gave a fuck and learned my lines. And I was always paired with this black kid that went to my school, and I always felt bad because he always had to carry the lines, and I would just sit there and try to improv, which is not like a funny time. You should be doing that. And I was the worst actor in that troupe, and I'm sorry, Brian, that I was awful as your partner. <laughs> As your interracial girlfriend. For I, I just felt like I had to do the racist line because I like Jim wasn't here. <laughs> I had to be like, he didn't learn his lines either because he couldn't read them. <laughs> and I was like, that's what Jim would have said. And I'm like, I miss Jim. Not, Aww, not saying sorry, racist then. stuff. Um, but that's how I know that your gonorrhea wasn't. No, I, wasn't. I had something once. I, had, I shoved my penis in a Poland spring water bottle. Jason, they're here for you. That's it. Get down. Remind you of your stepdad it's, and Nam? It's Mr. Rogers. Biological dad and Nam. A helicopter just went by. No, I stuck my dick in a Poland Spring water bottle, just the tip, and I pissed in it. And did I ever tell the story? Did you not get it out? Is that what happened? No, I. Here, I'll show you. No, nope. I'm not going to do it with my cock right now. I'm going to show you what I like. It was a bottle like this, and like a like a twelve ounce. I think we get what you mean when you say just the tip in a Poland Spring water. Well, bottle. Well, like yeah, because it wasn't a big mouth. It wasn't like a Gatorade bottle. It was a tiny little thing. So I held it while I was driving. I was stuck in traffic and I and I pissed in like just in the top and it got full the whole way so I had to pinch it off and then I poured the bottle out the window and then I went for round two filled it up poured it out threw it out drive to my gig do my gig I go to the bathroom take a piss and I don't know why but the end of my cock blew up like a catfish and it looked like the lips of a catfish and I didn't know what to do so I fly back to, I had to go to Vegas, fly to Vegas, I go to a doctor in Vegas, and the doctor's like, you have, um, uh, what did he tell me? I had? He goes, you must have gonorrhea or something, one of those diseases. <laughs> your wiener. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> seriously, that's what it looked like. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, you have, uh, you, ha you have something. I'm like, no, I, I didn't. And he's like, no, you got it if it's sexually transmitted disease. I go, no, I know I don't because I was wearing condoms and I don't. And He's like, no, you have it. I'm like, I swear to God, I know I don't fucking. I go, I stuck my dick in a Poland spring water bottle. He's like, you know how often I hear that? Oh, my God. And, uh, so uh, he runs all the tests. He comes back. He's like, you don't have anything. I'm like, well, I, I hope I have something because my dick is doing something scary. And uh, he's like, oh, just give it a couple of days. It'll be okay. And did it hurt? It fucking killed. When so I was what pissed. was it? He said I probably just damaged my urethra by like pinching. You always do some weird shit to your always body, Always damaging man. your urethra. You get like funguses on you and like. When did I get a fungus? Did you have something growing on your back or something oh, last year? Oh, I got year? Um, pitorias rosea, which Jim has now. <laughs> Wait, is <laughs> that contagious? Rosacea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chicks get it all the time. I just, why do I know that? Did like, you get it? No. Why am I? The Christmas tree disease. Uh uh. What do you? How, I how just do you, know the name. How does it happen? Like how? They, they, they say oh, they that's don't on know. Oh, your how. arm. Yeah, yeah. My, I went to the skin doctor. What's that thing on your arm? And she goes. It's like dry skin. She goes. Oh, I've had it. She goes. It'll go away in a month. And I go. What is it? She goes. Oh, you know, uh, it, nobody knows where it comes from. Then I Wikipedia it says it comes from frat houses and gyms. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh you're at the gym all the time. <laughs> no, it was the frat house. I was rolling around <laughs> on, the, on the floor. But Jim thinks he has it now. Comes from gyms like Jim Jeffries or gyms like Jim <laughs> Comes from yeah. gyms. Yeah, I got it from Jim and uh, and the frat house that I was in. Look up Pitarias Rosea. Rose oh God. Did, am I saying it wrong? Here you go, far side. Yeah, like try to spell this. <laughs> that was the worst. Oh, really? Is that it? Bring up images. Yeah, images. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's not looking no, good. No, but hold on a second. Some of those look like they're bubbling. Mine wasn't even close to that bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mine was nothing like that. No, I don't know what I was thinking. Of. Ah! That's not the thing I was Dude, thinking Dude, it's like blistery. It, it was just little. It felt like a uh, little <gasps> bit like the chicken pox. Wait, do you want to hear something crazy about skin conditions? This oh. summer, Jeez. I looked down at my hands, both my hands, and they're both brown. Like it looked like I had a birthmark, like someone had spilled birthmark juice on my hands. And they were brown, and I had it all up my arm. Were and you fisting someone? I was. Yes, yeah, that's where the story's going. And... <laughs> I go to the doctor, and my boyfriend had it as well, which was very weird. And so we're like, I, we don't understand why our skin has turned a different color. Like, it was very weird, like a Dalmatian. And the doctor was like... You fell asleep with your hands out the window. No. Oh. He was like, have you been near, 
lemons recently. Have you used a lemon or a lime? And I'm like, no, like I'd never go outside. And then it clicks. I had made limeade and we went outside. I made like homemade limeade and the lime juice. It's this called is, Mexican what, beer dermatitis. This is what you and your boyfriend do. You <laughs> I make, make him do it. He's very manly. I mean, this is what being a girlfriend does. We make him homemade lime. Uh, it's called Mexican beer dermatitis. And people get this when they go on vacation to Mexico and they squeeze a lime into a beer. The lime runs down. The vitamin C and the vi- enzymes in lime juice or anything with vitamin C in it, the sun, even if you wash it off, if you don't wash it well, it still stays on your skin and it bakes into your skin and it turns your skin a different color. You so look all up the Mexican Mexicans beer really, dermatitis. So it's just because of lime juice? So what you're saying is... No, it's is, not like that. That's, that's not right. Ernie? No. Have you been... Have you been covering yourself in lime but juice? But that's what it is. People go on vacation and so they get this, is. and that's Ray, why it drips Ray, down. Do you cover yourself? That's in lime what happens juice? if you if you don't if you like just that's lay it out there and you don't wash disgusting. it off. Disgusting. You know, mine was just dark. I didn't burn, but it's a thing that people get, and I got it from making limeade and going wow. outside. Your boyfriend deserves that for listening to you and going out and making limeade. I just, to be fair, he sat there. I while wish I made Jason it. wasn't here when you told this because I would cover him in lime juice next time it's sunny. <laughs> and you can you can even rinse it off. You have to wash it with soap, otherwise you're gonna get that. You get it. Uh, yeah, that's not as bad as the colloidal I'm silver. Sorry, my dick didn't blow up like a catfish. <laughs> colloidal silver is the worst thing in the world. Go colloidal to- silver isn't that what you take to turn yourself blue? Yeah, look, look, go to the colloidal silver guy. This is the scariest thing in the whole world. This colloidal is the worst. Colloidal silver. The guy from uh, he, this guy Five was taking colloidal silver. Heaven. He wasn't. He was only supposed to take like a little bit. But he took like the whole bottle all the time. Like this every was an day. epidemic at the beginning yeah. of the 20th century. Yeah. People took this look at and this. they turned blue. Yeah, this dude is blue. And the fact that he runs around the earth and Batman. no one's going, oh, there's fucking aliens amongst us, like amazes me. Look at him. That like, like anybody can walk past him and not go, holy shit, aliens have invaded. That would be a good hook for you, Jason. You should, you should turn yourself Will blue. you drink colloidal silver? No. Come on. No. It's not reversible. Oh. Go. It was in like a lot of medicines and people used to take it. as like. But there's the one guy, the guy that looks like Papa Smurf. Is like the main colloidal silver guy, and he might be the most disgusting man on the earth until you see the tree man from Indonesia. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? I, know all this stuff. I watched a documentary on him. I used him. to have a day job. I watched, I've seen all this stuff. <laughs> Those are his hands. Oh, that's an interesting uh, birth defect. <laughs> <It's> the <laughs> there he is. There he is. Blow that up. That is not a birth defect. That's awful. That is, uh, that's warts that are growing on his body Aww. that calcify. But here's the best. I watched the whole documentary on this guy. Isn't it like the tree is becoming a tree or yeah, something? Yeah. yeah. He could have had them removed. They found a doctor from the University of Maryland that they were going to fly to Indonesia. Like he met with him once and he was going to take this all off of him. And he found a way. But the guy's in a freak show and he makes a lot of money traveling around in the freak show. Uh, and he decided how to does floor- he spend it. You should see him smoke with those. <laughs> He decided to forego the uh, the treatment to have them taken off because he doesn't know how he'd make a living then. Um, I don't know. Get a normal job at a Verizon <laughs> store? I can think, I can think anything. There's, any Other people do it. Anything. Oh, how could you eat a banana? That's, how could you eat? Email that to Jim. There's a picture of the tree man. There's a picture of the tree man eating a banana. Jim has a fear of bananas. Oh. Um, you, weird. Far side, you have to email that to Jim. No. It, it's not Devlin. Oh, oh. oh shit. <laughs> Farside just kicked Duke in the face. I love, I love you, Andrew. Dog doesn't care. There, just send that picture to Jim or we all will. I'm going to send it under your email address. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's awful. Your dog died. Oh. Yeah. And we're feeding it bananas and tree. I'm not afraid of bananas, so that's okay. Yeah, Jim, I, to be honest, I don't believe Jim is afraid of bananas. I no, I do. I think he's made No, it's it not up. afraid. He's just, he hates them. But he's made it up and he's made it worse. No, no, no. talks about it, yeah. Like, I, I was here with him alone and I, I was just watching him. Like, he walked in, like, he didn't do this for anybody's entertainment or anything like that. I saw him go into the fucking kitchen and he blanched. And then he. I uh, get it. Thank you. And then he took a towel like, with this <laughs> look of disgust on his face and covered the bananas so you didn't have to see them. Oh. It's legit. He doesn't like them. I think he does it to make himself more interesting. Trauma? You can really be afraid of bananas? 
Lalit Lalit is a professional therapist. God, which, Jesse, which she, why, don't, why don't you yell at people through a it's microphone? Probably best that she's here. She was a professional therapist, but she quit it I to pursue am, acting. But yes, yeah, exactly. Um, because <laughs> it's a lot more profitable. Yeah. Yeah. It's an yeah. easier. Right. It's an easier path yeah. to success. You meet more crazy people than actors. Yeah. Well. Um. Th- so wait. So could he really truly be afraid of bananas? Yeah. PTSD. His post-traumatic stress disorder from bananas. Yes, he was. Was he molested raped with or ba- something with the bananas? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I imagine it. Somebody fucked Jim. No, no, no. Like we talked about here, he he hated bananas when he was a little kid, and, and his brothers his would brothers taunt would him, force with the him to eat them. Well, that's in they his would, mouth. That's they trauma. They would force him to eat them, and it traumatized him. Well, yeah. So, he so hates therefore, bananas. now he has anxiety and panic attacks when he sees bananas. He can. Desensitize it's called a trigger, it. Eddie. It's called a trigger. And what are your triggers? Fuck face. Bad teeth. <laughs> Not raping. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh, wow. That was good, Jason. Wow. <laughs> Have you been holding on to that one for a while? No, it just slipped out, actually. <laughs> wow. Wow. Somebody, I took a painkiller tonight. Somebody's not getting food this week. You're not being fed. It's all right. The MS guy feeds me. Not, not once we, floor. not once we wheel him away. <laughs> <laughs> His fucking hover thing goes like twenty miles an hour, dude. You're not gonna catch him. <laughs> he can go where you can't go with a vehicle. You can go to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> He's like a superhero. <laughs> In one of those things. <laughs> Did you just say your MS guy's like a superhero? He is. He can do anything he wants in public. No one's gonna say shit. He can shit himself, oh, yeah. piss himself, He's me stories about be that. a dick, He's hang free. out, He's hang out with free. Jason Hour. <laughs> yeah. He's an artist. All right, so what are your triggers, though? Um, seeing stuff, I don't know. Like, uh, I saw, like, two dudes beating up a guy once. and uh, Is that when you yelled the N-word? No, there's a little kid. Do you remember when we were out there and you were Wait, yelling the N-word? Wait, a trigger isn't what turns you on, by the way. No, no, no. Like, okay. the little kid, the little kid, <laughs> this dude was being jumped by two guys, and there's a little kid with him, and I fucking freaked and, like, just ran and, Jumped off my porch and like attacked one of the guys, and the other guy ran away. So you were just looking for a reason to let out your aggression. No, when I saw that little kid, like I just I started like I was having a panic attack because I couldn't find my keys and I was just I started flipping out. So I just ran and jumped off the porch. I broke a fucking bone in my foot doing it, and like went after the dude with the SS tattoos on his neck and (laughs) knocked him out. I like you've just written this in such a like. You just—it was a screenplay format. You made the—you made the enemy worse. He had, no, this dude he had, had—he had. That's Nazi why. Tattoos. That's why I went after was him. It a black dude. No, he was a. <laughs> no, he was like a. He was out there at the pagoda for a while. He. he, he Eliza, what are your fears? He what had do you Nazi do? The guy you beat up. Living the guy it right that was now. Beat up. <laughs> no, he was like a little European guy. <laughs> What's up? I'm sorry, Eliza. I, I mashed up what you were saying. What's up? I mean, you had a wonderful time here. I did. I did have a good time. Great. Are you? Can you please? If I ask one thing, please, I'll never ask for anything. No, I think life. I've done enough. Please, <laughs> just get Jason on that dating show, please. Absolutely not. It is ridiculous. <laughs> Got to have standards somewhere. Come on, think how much fun you can. Okay, make I promise you no. that I'll get him on the show. Really? Sure. You're lying. I am a liar. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if I say I will or won't? It's not going to affect. Why the would you Eliza, the show. Do they ever reverse? I just seen in a couple episodes. Yep. Usually the guys. Yeah. Are the ones, and then the girls come in, and they have mm-hmm. to choose girls. So do they ever reverse where it's two chicks? Yeah. And then guys, okay, All the so time. maybe he could be yeah, one you of the like, guys that can be eliminated. Maybe they, you know, let Because them he will choose. be eliminated. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> send in your, send so in your measurements, send your, your blood type, and a urine sample. And, he uh, likes black dudes. You can send that in that you sample. like black guys. No, he, ho- he hooked up with a tranny recently, and he didn't know it was a tranny. And uh, and then he came on the show the first thing and yeah, told but everybody. No, no, save it for the application. It's called damage control. Save this all for the online application. Don't waste it on me. Make sure you put it all in writing. Well, what are you the host? What if though? No, yeah, but no. I don't. Listen, cast it. listen, hypothetically, and and this is the truth. Wait, we, is this about rape? No, it's not about rape. <laughs> so, we can clean him up. We can clean him up. We'll put him in very nice clothes. We'll make him shave. We'll put new hair color in. We'll make him look good. He can talk a good game. Like, the hair color that we spoke of earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wholesale free international businessman hair color. Yeah. No. We, but yeah, you we'll won't. fix him up. We're going to make him look like, uh, who does he look like when he looks good? Who do Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. 
Looks like Russell Crowe. Okay. And he can he can actually act like he has a job and money and stuff <laughs> for a little bit. Would he get paid? Russell Crowe did? Yes. He would to be much, on it. How much would he get paid? I cannot. Can't reveal that. that. Okay. Um, but, on it, but. but what was that movie? Inceptor? What was the one about the ship that no one saw? Titanic? Russell Crowe did. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. That's he what like he looks like. He was like the admiral of a ship and no one saw the movie. That's what Jason okay, looks like. Okay, I can see that. Master and Commander. Master and I Commander. I liked it. It was okay. good. Find a picture. Oh, Scepter was the name of the ship on Pirates of the Caribbean. Find, find a picture of Jason cleaned up. <laughs> that's right there. That's what. No, that's Beautiful Russell Crowe. That's Russell Crowe. Oh, they look so alike. Beautiful ladies. Mind is kind of like Jason. <laughs> Special. Especially the end part when he goes nuts with all the papers. <laughs> oh, I do want to read that. The we'll guy that I, I hate women. Uh, can you blow that up? Let me read that email while you look for Jason. I'm so glad he's there. Women are cunts. Yeah, this is, it, this is one of our emails that I had to read from Cameron Chappelle. Um, Hi, Farsider. Eddie, just thought you should know my British opinion on women. Oh, the Brits hate women. They are massive cunts in so many ways. I don't know where to begin, but here goes anyway. It's like one big fucking sentence. Yeah. No periods. First. Did you write this, Farside? <laughs> no? Okay. For, this is one of our listeners. First, all they do is bitch and moan about everything, even if there's nothing wrong. And then it becomes our fault for no fucking reason. He capitalized no fucking. Um, you should and read it in a British accent. And here is just some shit what fucks me off. They're emotionally imbalanced. Will fucking cry over something as small as a broken nail or wow, whoop de fucking do. Get over it, you pathetic excuse for shag. They will do anything to make a guy happy. You know what, what else thinks like that dog except Duke, as he just wants to die. <laughs> His thoughts are just kind of... And another thing, cock teasing is not cool, Lilith. Yes, it is. It's a fucking piss take. Don't fuck with a guy like that. He has enough to deal with. It's called all of your fucking problems. He doesn't need someone getting them excited them. and like, oh, yeah, I'm getting laid, and then bam, nothing. Fuck off with that shit. I could go on, <laughs> but fuck, this could go on for a good while, so I'll leave it then. Yours, Cameron from England. P.S. Love the show and the Moncast. Keep up the good work. And one last thing. How tight does your girlfriend have you have your lead, Eddie? Because by the sounds of it, you have keeled over and just taken it where you... Where is your fight, man? Where is your fight, man? Yeah, so um, thanks, Cameron, for that enlightening yeah. view on women. We're all gonna take that into effect, and um, I think I think you're I think you made some good points. I think um, he could go I, on. I think yeah. you should go on whatsyourprice.com. Yeah, I think you might be stereotyping just a little, um, but for the most part, you're dead on. I agree with you on every every bit of it, except for the. He just sounds like he's heartbroken, and someone just like didn't sleep with him or just broke up with him. I think he sounds really. He sounds like a woman, he actually. He's yeah, complaining exactly. a lot. <laughs> He sounds like a bitchy woman. It was probably written by a woman. It was probably the one that Jason tried to fuck. Also, I have a huge penis. In case you're wondering, I am a guy. Here, here is um from Jason. Oh, from Sean Williams. From this, this is about Jason. Matt Devlin is the greatest slash worst thing to happen to talking shit. Why is Jason so scared of getting stabbed? It's not like he's got anything to look forward to in life. <laughs> if Jason died, Duke will never have to wear a cone ever again because his new owner would actually give him a bath and feed him, not torture him like Jason does now. It's funny how Jason says famous people are boring, so he's not going to have them on the show, then says Jim will be the first guest. <laughs> Hello, Jason. Jim is famous, fucking retard. He's not that famous. Well Who, said. Who's more famous, Eliza or Jim? I don't know. Who I am? Do you know who Still. Eliza is? Yeah, I don't think. I don't think she looks vaguely familiar. It's fine. But it's uh, but you say famous people are. Boring. Well, Jim is my friend. That's why I do it, not because he's famous. Um, here's one from a fan, Sean Cochran. Can someone do something to sabotage Jason's job and living prospects? We don't have to do that. <laughs> he does it to himself. Like, um. I know he'll eventually fuck it all up himself, but I don't want to wait that long. Allow me to explain. I'm usually fairly positive about Jason. I've always viewed him as sort of a bastardized version of Lenny from Of Mice and Men. But now that he's found some work and a place to live, he's gotten more lippy than a $5 whore's pussy on payday. Wow. Any functional level of self-esteem makes that dude intolerably annoying. 
Since he stumbled upon a moderate amount of success recently, he's grown a black tranny sized set of balls <laughs> and he's acting like an indignant cunt. And I don't say cunt in the trying to sound cool, casual, foreign way. I wholeheartedly mean it in an overtly offensive yes. American sense of the word. He nearly de derailed the show more than once due to his newly discovered delusion of confidence, and it shouldn't be allowed to happen again. The next time he gets his chemicals up, at the mere mention of Matt Devlin's name, use a big <laughs> syringe full of Drano to bring them back down again and remind him he's better at jerking off a dog than he is himself. Wow! Thanks for the great show, Holy Sean. Loaded. Well Why written. the fuck are you clapping? That was well written. Yeah. <laughs> After, after what we read. After what we've gone through. After women are cunts. Get the fuck away from me. Sean, go fuck yourself. I have to go. Uh, <laughs> you're making Eliza nervous. Wow. I don't care. That's fine. Wow. All right. Uh-oh. I think he's, we're going to end the show on now. that. You, you just don't look at me. I'm always aggressive. In general, but don't look at me like that. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> she will. She knows. I'm not afraid of anyone. Right. She knows Krav Maga. I'm level four. I didn't know she was Woo! Jewish. What is, what is going oh on? Oh, the, the, uh, the, the boobs for our You website. know what I like? Um, one of the fans, Jim asked the fans to write. Wait, does it look like her rib cage is like really small because of the shadows? She probably <laughs> photoshopped it. It looks like the, yeah. The one of our fans sent in a picture of her off. boobs and she wrote on it, Heart Jim, but it looks like someone slapped her <laughs> where it's written, Love Jim. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. So maybe Jim was there. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Jason. Those look like cowards. Those look like prosthetic nipples. <laughs> Lalit, third, third time you said something funny. Um, oh, I feel bad. I'm always on number three. Um, <laughs> some girl sent in her boobs and wrote Jason above it, and Devlin's behind her. <laughs> and, then, and then the nipples are what? Far side. Oh. Ew. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Some guy pulled out his nutsack and wrote, fuck you, Jason, on his nutsack. Oh, my God. His balls are so small he couldn't even write out the word you. <laughs> 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 fuck you, whoever you are. They're also covering his whole dick. <laughs> are there any more? No. That's, that's it. Not. That's all we got? It's a shame. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. The guy that wrote, fuck you, Jason. Do you know who that is? Evan. That's the dude with the guns. <laughs> That's great. There's a guy who. Be sure that you tell him it was Matt. This Devlin all started because Jim him. asked for guys to show manginas, and and <laughs> but not just a picture of a mangina. He wanted a picture of like it had to say our names on him somewhere, like Jim yeah. and Eddie, and uh, and the name of the show. And some guy just there's a picture of him in a hallway standing there with two like three guns, ass assault rifles, completely naked, showing his face and everything. <laughs> With a mangina and across his chest and like blood red, it says, fuck you, Jason. That's amazing. <laughs> That's art. <sighs> That's great. J yeah. There it is. <laughs> look at the okay, guns. Go for, go on for the close up, Eliza. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's like, that's like it puts the lotion in the basket terrifying. Yeah, it's like Henry Rollins pissed off. <laughs> He's not an unattractive man. <laughs> He's just got like an ugly vagina. Oh, my goodness. I think that's him. That See if that's Evan. That guy was on lockup for sure. <laughs> Somebody wrote, holy shit, Jason's going to die. <laughs> that's great. Um, all right. So if you have any interesting photos to send in like that, please do. Uh, we are going to have a new live show coming up. Uh, we don't know when. We'll, next episode, we will tell you when the next live show is. Thank you. And uh, I want to thank Liza for being on the show. Thank you. Um, Yay, Liza. Uh, Yay, thank you. Lilith likes when another woman's here. Um, You're welcome. Uh, Devlin, thank you for coming by again and being so stoned on this episode. My uh, pleasure. Great uh, help. Thank, thank you for not killing Jason. Um, you missed the last one, Jesse. Fucking awesome. Uh, if you haven't heard the last episode, go back and listen to it. Jason almost shit his pants, and uh, Devlin scared him. Uh, but you guys, thanks for listening. Check out our uh, websites, all of them. Liza, do you have anything coming up you want to plug again? You can come see me in La Jolla at the Comedy Store this weekend, or you can follow me on Twitter and uh, or go to my website, and I got all my dates on there. And then the you show. can watch Excused every night. And it's Eliza.com? I-L-I-Z-A dot com, at Eliza on Twitter, and then Excused is check your local listings. Thank you for coming. We, well, You're welcome. Jason, thank you for not coming. You couldn't uh, if you tried. We only had you know, just a call had, back to the beginning of our had, friendship. We had a jerk-off contest, and he came in last. What kind of a phone is that?
<laughs> is that a palm? Like touch? Is that a trio? No, it's, it's an LG. Metro PCS. It was a Boost Mobile. <laughs> Are you? Do you have a minute set or can you unlimited minutes? I could do, well, it's 50 bucks a month for unlimited minutes. <laughs> So I do the 30, and I'm only like, <laughs> but like for 30 bucks a month, I go 29 days. And I like, that's like, so I'm like one day, $20 less, you know? I'm paid like, so like over the course of a year, that's like what? Another fucking, like, it's just like, can, can you, can 12 you, 12 days, you know? What? Can you call 911 on that day? That's yeah, you can always call 911. Okay, I just want to make sure, because you're going to need it. Thanks for having me. All right, thanks to all the Mongs for being here, and keep listening to the Mongcast. Um, and that's it. Go to our website, JiminettiTalkShit.com. We'll see you next time. Talk shit,